people all over the world think they know Judge Glenda Hatchett. Her Emmy-nominated television series is among the best of its kind. But you can't learn anything about the star of the show unless you talk to people right here in Atlanta who knew her as a student, attorney, and juvenile court justice. I know her very well. She was uh, my first uh, law clerk on the federal court here in Atlanta. Previously, she had served one year as my law clerk in the Superior Court. Glenda Hatchett received her college degrees from Mount Holyoke in Massachusetts, an educationally demanding liberal arts school for women, and Emory University, where she earned her Juris Doctorate degree. From there, she became a corporate attorney with Delta Airlines. She actually held dual positions. She not only litigated cases, but also served as the company's public relations manager. That lasted for about 10 years. Then, an unexpected call caused her to make a major life change. Judge Hatchett has been a tremendous influence on the Atlanta community because of innovative, creative sentences. Judge Hatchett left Delta to become a juvenile court justice. She knew it wasn't an easy job, but she took it as something she was called to do. She approached the position with a distinctive combination of passion and prudence. She was sent there to change the culture because the culture there previously was not conducive to turning around the lives of these kids. So Judge Hatchett focused more on rehabilitation rather than punishment. Judge Cooper credits Judge Hatchett with creating remedies that successfully saved thousands of young people from lives of failure. She was uniquely qualified to do so. But Judge Hatchett herself is a product of, of Atlanta and the public school system. So she had been exposed to the areas of the city where these kids came from. And she was familiar with their social environment. She was able to get the, the community involved by way of identifying community leaders and members of the business community to help her in altering the ways of many of the kids who appeared before her. Judge Hatchett received another unexpected chance to showcase her desire to help others, and that opportunity landed her on national TV. Seemingly overnight, she went from being the chief presiding judge of the Fulton County Georgia Juvenile Court to becoming one of the most recognized justices in the country. She did more than issue on-air opinions, though. She wrote books geared toward teaching parents how to do a better job of being responsible adults. And she used her fame to tirelessly lobby on behalf of family and children's issues. I take uh, great pleasure and honor in uh, Judge Glenda Hatcher's induction into the Hall of Fame of the Gates City Bar Association. I think she's well deserving of that honor and she joins many others, including myself and Vernon Jordan and, and a lot of other outstanding lawyers and judges who have been inducted into the Hall of Fame. Judge Hatchett has received accolades from all over the world, but she still remains grateful to the mentors who helped her reach her internationally influential status. I just want to thank um, Judge Ward and Judge Cooper tonight. A, a special thank you not just for what you have said tonight, but what you have meant in my life. Um, you have been there, you have mentored me, you have been there to shape and guide me and to encourage me throughout my professional life. Um, I am so grateful to each of you and so deeply touched that you would speak on my behalf tonight. So know that I am and will always be forever grateful to you, Judge Ward, uh, to you, Judge Cooper. I thank you and I know that I am blessed because of my relationship with each of you. I thank you. The Gates City Bar Association is pleased to add Judge Glenda Hatchett to the list of distinguished law professionals that make up its Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Judge Glenda Hatchett to the stage.